Hello, my name is Adam Rootsgar de Camp, and I'm the lead writer for Unrest, an ancient Indian role-playing game. I'm gonna have to talk fast here because there's a lot to cover with this conversation. First, notice the three bars at the top. In this game, we track three values to measure a person's relationship to you. Fear, friendship, and respect. But the idea that interpersonal relationships are more varied and nuanced than just how well disposed are they towards you at any given time. Secondly, as we talk to this person here, watch the middle of the conversation area. Whenever we select an option, a tone appears, telling us how the NPC will take this. This removes any ambiguity on the player's part as to, well, am I saying this in a sarcastic way? Am I saying this sympathetically? How am I trying to get this across? The player should never be confused about what they're saying, just in the same sense that they should never be confused when they press the W key about which direction their character will move in. How they speak in the world is their influence over the world. One other thing we're trying to do differently in this game as you may have noticed, Unrest is set in India, not in medieval Europe, or some amalgamation thereof. It is our belief that gamers worldwide are into something new. If all RPGs look the same, why would anyone but a die-hard fan buy more than one a year? More to the point, if every independent role-playing game just looks like a cheaper version of Skyrim or Dragon Age or World of Warcraft, why would anyone at all buy them? We're applying that same approach to our narrative. As you can see here, the character we're controlling currently is different than the character we were controlling at the beginning. That's because each chapter of Unrest switches to a different character, with the idea being that if we cover multiple characters, we can cover multiple perspectives. None of these are the designated hero, in fact many of them are just simple people trying to get by in their daily lives. However, when you're in a city that is in this state of civil unrest, your daily lives are often interesting and exciting enough 